Welcome back to another Truth Matters podcast episode where we are speaking the truth while it's still legal. Thanks for tuning in. Sit back, relax, and get ready to hear the truth. I'm your host, Matt Franklin. Hello, guys, and here we are again with another Truth Matters podcast, episode 88. I hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for tuning in to this special episode. I want to ask you the question today, where art thou? In Genesis chapter 3, when Adam and Eve ate of the tree and knew their eyes were opened, knew that they disobeyed God, the scripture says that God began walking in the garden, and the cool of the day. And in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 9 says, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto Adam, Where art thou? Why would God ask Adam this question? Did God not know where Adam was? Did he lose Adam? Was he really looking for Adam? Did he have no clue? Isn't God omniscient? God knew exactly where Adam was in his omniscience. In his all-knowing, he never lost Adam. The problem was Adam lost God. Adam lost his way. Adam stepped down and away from the purpose that God had for him. It's not that God didn't know where Adam was. It was that God wanted Adam to realize for himself where he stood with God at that particular time. God wanted to remind Adam of what he had done and where he stood in his relationship with God. He wanted Adam to evaluate his position, where his position was before he sinned and where his position was after he sinned. When you sin against God, you step down from the position that he has purposed for you. Adam stepped outside of the boundary God designed for his protection. The same is true for you and I. God knows exactly where we are, but he wants us to evaluate our lives and understand where we are with him. There are times God will give us a gentle reminder and ask us the question, where art thou? So I want to ask you today, where art thou? Where do you stand with God today? If you were to see yourself in the spirit realm, how you look, where you stand with God, would you find any sin on your garment? Would you see yourself close to God, walking with Him, maybe even holding His hand? Or would you see yourself far away from God in a wilderness, lost, not knowing where you're at? You know, sometimes we like to act like we know what we're doing. We like to feel like we have that confidence that we know who we are and where we're headed. You know, the world teaches us to know what your dreams are and to go after them and to plan out your future, and to know exactly where you want to be years from now. When you get a job, a lot of times they will ask you, where do you see yourself in five years, 10 years, 20 years? We like to plan out where we're headed, but sometimes we really don't know where we're going. Proverbs 16 and 9 puts it this way, A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. The question is, are you following God's direction? Are you being sensitive to his leading? When you begin making a decision in life, are you stopping to say, God, what would you want me to do about this? What is your will? What is your plan? Where do I stand with you in this situation? Where do I need to be? And every now and then, it's good to stop ourselves and ask ourselves the question, where am I with God? Am I really as close to him as I seem to be? Do I really love him like I should? Am I really following his direction, his plans? his book? Am I really following the manual that tells me what I should and shouldn't do for my protection? God didn't tell Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree because he's a mean God who wants to give people a bunch of rules. He didn't tell the children of Israel that I don't want you doing this and stay away from this and do this and do that. He didn't do that so that he could just be some kind of dictating God that just wants to boss people around. He did that for their protection. And any time God puts in his word the do's and don'ts of this Christian walk, it's not to hurt you. It's not to harm you. It's not to give you a bunch of rules so that he can make your life miserable. It's to protect you. Had Adam never ate of that tree, had Eve never ate of that tree, today we would be immortal, perfect human beings. 
God said, if you eat of that tree, the moment you do, you will surely die. The moment Adam ate of that tree, death began. The curse was upon us. And the moment you disregard God and disobey Him and commit sin, that is the day that you literally are dead spiritually. But thank God there is a way out. There is freedom from this death. There is a resurrection power. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born and raised a carpenter's son and was a Nazarite Jew who endured 33 and a half years of humanity and knows how it feels to seek for direction. Jesus was a man that prayed. He went to God a lot. He prayed to God. And he really did feel the confusion in the flesh at times. He really did feel the fear. The Bible says at all points he was tempted, yet without sin. He felt everything we feel. He felt the intimidation from the Pharisees who thought they were better than him. He felt the belittling of other Jews who thought he wasn't good enough to be preaching this gospel. He knew what it was like to be alone when he fasted and prayed for 40 days. He knew what it was like to be alone. There were times when he felt scared in the flesh. He was in the flesh. He felt everything that a human feels, yet he was still God. And he was able to overcome all things so that you could be an overcomer. And he was able to find his way through his purpose on earth and fulfill his purpose through the death of the cross and his bloodshed and resurrection. He overcome it all for you. He overcome it all so that you could know where you are and where you can be. I want to ask you again today, where art thou? Where art thou? Are you at peace with God? Are you following him? Do you have a prayer life? Do you talk to him daily? Do you read your Bible? Do you learn of him? Do you just have a form of godliness, but you deny the power, as the Bible says? Do you feel like that you're living some kind of religious lifestyle, but you really don't have the relationship with Jesus like you should? Have you really been walking with him? Are you with him? Where art thou? If you don't know where you stand with God today, now is the time to make things right. Now is the time to fix anything that needs to be fixed, to surrender your life to him. Now is the time to know where you stand. You can stand in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, and you can walk in the peace that you have never felt before, or maybe you once felt that and you left the faith. It's time to come back home. It's time to come back home, prodigal. It's time to get back where you need to be. Know where you stand with God today. You can have that assurance. Just say, Jesus, help me. I need you. Help me to know where I stand with you and put me where you want me. Save me. Deliver me. Change me. Make me what you want me to be. Take my hand and lead me to the promised land and help me along the way to bring some others with me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for giving me the assurance that I know where I stand today. If you said that prayer, you are saved. If you believe in Jesus Christ, that he suffered, bled, and died on the cross, and rose again the third day for you so that you could be saved from hell, and you confess that with your mouth, you are saved. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Walk with him. Talk with him. Go with him. Know where you stand. Have that confidence. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Till next week. If you enjoyed this podcast, please share it with your family and friends so that we can get the truth out. Have a great day, 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 day. day.